Hey, Jackie. Why do you always have to go and turn things around, hey? You know, I actually reckon you do it on purpose. Miss Glenn, I just want to know what you want. I'm your girlfriend and I don't think that's too much to ask. I'm trying to tell you that though, aren't I, Jackie? Stop picking on me family. Christ, we should lay off that stuff for a bit. You reckon? Yeah. One thing, Glenn, you're getting a beer gut. And I don't like being seen around with a man who doesn't look after himself. Why? Glenn, you used to be fit and athletic and now you don't come jogging with me anymore, you don't do your push-ups and you guzzle that stuff like it's going out of fashion. No reasons, Jackie. I am not to blame for every little thing that's gone wrong in your lives. I'm a thinker. It's my job to think. Because that's something that I do better than other people. <laughs> You're all spoiled brats. Go on, shoot me. But it's the truth. Talk about the me generation, all this bullshit about personal identity and self-growth and self-fulfillment. What a load of self-indulgent crap. Has it ever occurred to any of you that there was an entire generation of men and women who did not wake up in the morning and wonder how the day was going to pan out for themselves, but actually leapt out of bed and considered how the day was going to pan out for everybody else? Stevie, you'll get more stupid and pathetic. What are you talking about, my brothers, Jackie? Jesus, you know I'm telling the truth, Glenn. That doesn't matter, Jackie. They're my brothers. They're my best mates and they always will be, and it seems that no stupid fucking woman is ever going to understand that. What do you mean they're your mates, Glenn? They give you the shits most of the time. <sighs> Jesus, you whiners and whingers. What would you have rather that I'd sat back quietly and led a sweet, unrestrained, anonymous life so that your destiny as repressed, stupefied, second-class citizens could go on uninterrupted? Jesus, I don't know what this is about. I happen to get famous, and now you're trying to use my fame against me because you're not happy with yourselves. <sighs> Jesus Christ, why don't you just take a little responsibility? And while you're at it, just show a tiny bit of ordinary gratitude. I've got a problem. I think I'm becoming an ice cream snob. But let me ask you, who cares about franchise flavours like Peanut Butter Supreme and Hungarian Chocolate when you can buy a Golden Gay Time? But you don't just eat a Golden Gay Time. Oh no. You see, you've got to savour it. But of course, if you've never experienced a Golden Gay Time, well then, you wouldn't understand. <sighs> well, what are you waiting for? Pick up a Golden Gay Time and become an ice cream connoisseur. Like me.